For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be going over time lapse. Now, if you've not seen any of my open shot tutorials, be sure to check out the playlist below. I have many videos showing you how to use open shot. So today I'm going to be going over the time lapse effect. And if you are not familiar with what that is, it's normally speeding up, slowing down a video or even playing it backwards. Okay. So let me show you what I mean. So here I have this normal video right here, just me uh, fishing with my cousin. So in open shot, there's already some built in tools that allow you to do this where you don't have to do a lot of really complex stuff. Okay. So if you right click on a clip, there's this feature right here called time. Okay. So there's a couple of options here. There's normal, fast, slow, freeze, and then freeze and zoom. Now normal, it's just quite simply normal. Okay. So it really doesn't do anything here. Um, I think you would use this whenever you wanted to adjust the time if you made it too fast or slow. Okay. So forward, it doesn't do anything right now, but what if you want to make it backwards? Okay. And so you could do that by choosing this one time. And if you press play now, it will start from the end of the video. As you could probably see there, he's moving backwards and then uh, you know everything's at normal speed so this is pretty cool i think <laughs> i mean especially when you see it the first time or you have something like this where i'm we're fishing and the uh, the fish actually goes back in the water so that's kind of cool right there <laughs> so see the water goes backwards so <laughs> yeah so you could kind of see how that works and it also uh if you go backwards it also changes the audio as well where it goes backwards as well so it's kind of weird but you know it reverses sound now if you wanted to undo that you could either do an undo okay or you could do time and then reset okay so it'll reset that most of the times i think the undo works better or if you make a lot of changes sometimes you might just have to delete the clip and put a new one back in okay but say you wanted to actually you know make it faster okay so here's where things get cool so you could go two times all the way to 32x times and so let's go ahead and go 4x time and if you notice it shorten the clip because it's going to be quicker so check that out very quick <laughs> and obviously like i said you could go up to 32 times but it kind of just looks weird for me but some people might want to do that and then you could go to reset time and you know it'll go back to normal so let's try that backwards okay so let's do four times again press play so there it is let's try that again and like i said for some reason sometimes if you're doing too much of this reset time it kind of messes things up so what I normally do is I just go ahead and delete that, put the clip back in because that didn't quite work out the way it wanted to. And then go time, fast, backwards, four times. Press play. There it is. And cool. Back in the water. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to delete that. So you've seen how it could do it forward. And similarly, you could do the same thing for slow, forward, or backwards. And um, let's go ahead and go backwards. One time slow. Uh, for some reason, I like the <laughs> backwards shots better. It just looks really weird, but kind of cool at the same time. And see. So, but you get the idea here. So... If you notice here on your properties, it does change things right here. So you can actually manually adjust these as well if you would like. Okay. But I'm just glad that OpenShot provided some presets in there so that people who 
just want to get some cool effects and some time lapse effects don't have to spend a lot of time fiddling with the properties okay now there's two other features for the time okay so one is freeze and what it does is it actually freezes the frame up until this many seconds okay and then it starts the video so it adds a keyframe right there as you could probably see so if you press play you see it freezes the frame up to in this case four seconds and then it plays okay so um, I'm not really sure I guess when I would use this I mean I don't do a lot of this effect actually I probably will probably never use it but it's there for people who want to do that. Maybe they want to have some type of dramatic effect um, on their videos. Okay. And then there is another feature here called freeze and zoom. So let's go ahead and do freeze and zoom for eight seconds. So what it will do is it actually freeze. And then it has a zoom feature as well on the keyframe. And then it keeps it frozen up until 10 seconds. Or just about there. So it's not exactly precise. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I thought it was exactly. That was pretty close. But that's why I wanted to show you that, you know, it changes properties down here. So if you really want to fine tune it, you could go here and fine tune the scale properties, the time, the volume, you know, so many other features. But as you can see there, it was really simple for me to actually do all these really cool uh, time lapse effects. And I think for people who love doing like, say like a time lapse of weight loss, that would probably be one that a lot of people enjoy. Uh, you know, this would be awesome feature for you to have. Like say you want to do a time lapse of like 30 days or 60 days or something. That's awesome. Okay. And so it's already built in. Or if you wanted to do like slow motion, um, say that you did something like what we did, go fishing and you wanted to get a cool shot slow shots of the fish actually coming up then slow motion would really help there and then the whole freeze frame part um i'm not really sure you know like i said i i really do not use this at all i mean actually i've never used it for any of my videos but i could see where people might want to do this maybe they want to capture a moment right before the video starts or maybe somewhere later on in the video okay and so yeah so that is the time lapse feature i don't think you know, it's going to be very hard for people to figure out how to use this, especially since OpenShot makes it so easy to do. But the cool thing is it really can enhance your videos, you know, especially if you are doing uh, those types of videos that I talked about earlier or montages. There's so many ways that you can use this. OK, and so if you had any thoughts on these time lapse features or any other features within OpenShot, be sure to put it in the comments area below and also be sure to put any other ideas that you wanted me to cover. So if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode